Now, if you remember in C3, when you've got a product, two functions of x that are multiplied together, you can leave one alone and differentiate the other, and then swap it around. So that's the product rule for differentiation. Let's now put this term on the left hand side. So I'm going to get d by dx of uv minus v du dx equals u dv dx. I'm just going to write that over here and this lot over on the right hand side. So u dv dx equals d by dx of uv minus v du dx. Now we're going to integrate each term separately. So u dv dx is d by dx of uv integrated minus v du dx. And let's look at this term here. This says take uv, differentiate it, and then integrate it. So therefore we're going to end up with uv. So let's put this all together on the next slide. This bit is going to turn into just uv because this is saying differentiate uv and integrate it. And as they're inverse operations, we're going to end up with uv. So we end up with this formula here, which is the product rule for integration. What we're saying is we've got two things multiplied together. When we integrate it, we get those terms without an integration, and then we get another integration. So the product rule for integration is quite useful, um, but what it does is replace one integration with something that doesn't need integrating, and then something else that does need integrating. So if we can replace something that's hard to integrate with something that's easier to integrate, then this is a useful thing to do. So let's take as an example the integral of x cos x dx. So what we need to do is to compare this with the formula here. So u equals x, u equals x, dv by dx is cos x, so du by dx, if I differentiate x it's 1, and v equals sine x, because if I integrate cos x I get sine x. So going from here to here, I've differentiated, and from here to here, I've integrated. So the rule is that u dv dx equals uv, so this uh, equals uv, so that's x sine x, minus v du dx. So v is sine x and du by dx is 1. So it's an integral of v sine x multiplied by 1 and then I've got to integrate it. So what's happening here, and this is our working over here, what's happening over here is we've replaced this integration with a bit that doesn't need integrating and something that does need integrating. Now if when we do this we end up with something that we still can't integrate, it's not especially helpful, but integrating sine x, that's fine. So we're going, to, we're going to get x sine x, and the integral of sine x is minus cos x. That's so we've got two minuses, so it's x sine x plus cos x plus c.